Welcome back to my channel. Today we will assemble a T-Match QRP manual tuner that operates across the entire edge of band from 1 to 30 MHz. We will focus on the assembly now with testing to come later. I got the kit containing the items listed here. We will begin by winding the T1062 toroid which serves as a tuning coil using the provided enameled wire. We need to create 11 taps starting at the 10th turn with additional taps at 12, 15, 17 and so on. To make the taps, leave some extra wire length and twist it as shown. We'll solder these points to the rotary switch later, so ensure you keep enough length. The end of the wire after the 35th turn will serve as the 12th tap. Here is a completed view of the tuning toroid windings featuring 11 taps plus 1 additional tail. Next, we will wind the SWR indicator transformer on the FT3743 toroid. This is straightforward, with 2 turns for the primary and 5 turns for the secondary. The completed transformer will look like this. Flatten the tap wires as much as possible using pliers and set them aside for soldering. Now I will solder the components onto the SWR indicator PCB starting with the toroid transformer. Once that's done, We'll quickly solder the tuning toroid to the rotary switch. Before soldering, I'll attach a wire to one pole of the switch which will be connected to the ground later. Once the toroid is connected, it will be hard to access. Make the taps as flat as possible and solder them onto the switch after removing the enamel with a sharp blade. Next, we will drill holes on the provided box. Stick the hole plan stickers on the box and drill according to the markings. This step can be messy, so I took some time to clean up afterward.
Curious about the inductance of the tuning toroid, I measured it at different switch positions using my homebrew LCF meter, which showed results from 2.9 microhenry to 19.67 microhenry right on the target. Now I'll secure the components inside the box and connect them as per the circuit diagram starting with the variable capacitors followed by the SO239 socket. Here I'll be not using the provided BNC connectors. Followed by the SWR indicator PCB and finally the rotatory switch. Here is a closer look of the wire connections for the variable capacitors. For the SWR indicator PCB, connect the in point to the center pin of the SO239 on the transceiver side, the out to the center pin of the variable capacitor and the GND to the common ground. Next, I'll attach the rotary switch tuner toroid assembly to the box and connect the coil starting end to the common joint of both variable capacitors. Ensuring the pole wire of the rotary switch connects to the common ground. We are almost done. We just need to attach the knobs. The large knob goes on the rotary switch and the two small knobs fit on the variable capacitors with the help of provided screws. That's it, the T-Match tuner is ready for testing. I will cover the testing part in the next video. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and 73s.